Welcome to Katajuda. So Katajuda is a group of 36 domed rock formations spread over about 20 kilometers and it's about 40 kilometers west of Uluru. It's less known to tourists, but it's just as impressive and ancient and culturally significant to the Ananu people as Uluru. <laughs> to be able to be on this land right now because this is actually a sacred men's site to the Ananu people and we're grateful that we have the opportunity to be able to explore it and soak in the atmosphere. So this morning we watched the sunrise over Uluru and Katajuda and it was magical and such a good way to start the day. And one thing that we noticed is because the land is so flat, it almost looks fake when you look at Katajuda. It almost looks like a movie set, like something out of the Wild West, I thought. Yeah, it's crazy to think that there's rock formations like this in the middle of the flat Australian desert. And walking, like doing this walk right now with these giant domes on either side of us, it's pretty incredible. You just feel so small next to them. If you can't already see, Katajuda is huge. It is said to be 546 metres high above ground. That's 198 metres taller than Uluru. Okay, so this is the steepest part of the Valley of the Winds Trail. And I'm about to do it with a baby, so if I can do it, you can do it. It's supposedly a difficult track, but if you've got the right hiking boots, it's, it's okay. And it doesn't do it justice. No like way. how huge. It really doesn't. And like the scale of the rocks. I think we have a new camera person as well. So <laughs> uh, stay early. tuned for some unique shots. Yeah, of my body. <laughs> <laughs> Valley of the Wind, look out two. So, babe, this yes. is the second time we've done this walk. Second time, yeah. This is the first time we did it. And um, that woman, what did that woman say? Yeah. I, 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 don't I think. <laughs> Yeah, I'm pretty sure she said, wow, can't believe she's carrying a baby this whole way. She deserves a massage. Oh, that's right. She, yeah, how did I forget that one? <laughs> yesterday I found this quote from Michael Pollan and I just want to read it out. I was looking in my garden and I felt like my plants were kind of looking back at me. They were very benign, they had good intentions, but I noticed that there were more subjectivities in my garden than I thought. We go through the world thinking we're the only thinking subject. Everything else is an object. One of the things that happens on psychedelics is that everything has life in it, has consciousness in it, and that was a powerful and beautiful experience. And that quote reminded me of us walking through Uluru Katajudo is because the Ananu people believe that this is a living cultural landscape. And yesterday when we did that little walking meditation around Uluru, it felt like there was a presence to the land. And it reminded me of that quote, you know, when we're tapped into different senses, we're aware that we're not the only sentient beings. 